Tonight, another tool to help first responders keep you safe. We've reported how fire departments nationwide are battling shortages. Now, a former Pattonville firefighter's creation is helping those departments fight back. Brent Solomon explains how the new technology is coming to the rescue. Hey there, Kelly. While working as a firefighter, the man you're about to meet noticed some of the challenges of the job and he took action. On his days off, he got to work on a concept that's helping more than 100 fire departments all over the country when seconds matter most. When the call comes, there's no time to wait. To keep you safe, firefighters risk their own safety. Almost 20% of the injuries at structure fires are related to charged hose lines. A result of what firefighters call hot hydrants, water pressure well beyond the maximum PSI level to safely battle the elements. On the low end, the pressure could be a 20 PSI. On the high end, 100. When you have hydrants down here running 140, 150, 160, you basically have to be in the fire getting beat up with that high pressure and then get on the radio and ask them to turn it down. It's an extremely manual process. That's where Jason Serrano's creation saves the day. It's called SAM, Simple Apparatus Management. I'm engaged. SAM ready. The automated pressure control manages that in under a second. Instantly delivering the appropriate water pressure to the hydrant. It costs time in a fire waiting for pressure to get right sometimes. That's not all. Yeah, let's just hook a hundred to this and put a nozzle on it. Sam places a water flow control panel on both sides of a fire truck. Traditionally, most trucks just have it on the driver's side. And in most cases, a firefighter has to manually control it while the rest of the crew attacks the flames. If you can imagine yourself standing in the street on one side of the fire truck, but the fire's over in the yard on the curbside. You can't see anything, so you're isolated from your crew. Sam automates the entire process, allowing more hands on deck. So no matter how the scene's set up, I don't have to keep circling the truck or being isolated. So it gives us another set of hands when hands are limited at the time while other trucks are still responding. It's why Pattonville Fire Chief Jim Ussery is glad his department uses it. St. Louis Fire was the first to roll it out nationwide in an industry struggling to recruit. A lot of people are seeing um, staffing shortages in regards to even the, the application pool. We don't have enough qualified applicants. This chief appreciates new tools to help his crew save lives. Really, my job is to remove, remove roadblocks for they can do amazing things in the street. Serrano is pleased his invention is making a difference in the profession he dedicated two decades of service to. You see people out in rural areas who don't have help and when the automation is giving them help on the fire ground and you can hear the uh, relief in their voice, like that, that hits home. I've learned Fenton, Maryland Heights, Mascuda, and Cahokia are just a few of the many local fire departments taking advantage of this homegrown technology. The Pattonville chief says it's a game changer as the industry embraces new tools to get the job done. 